Hey everybody, what's up? Child the Gamer here, and look what got shadow dropped earlier today. Yeah, that's right. Nintendo dropped another Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase for October. Here's the thing though. From what I've been told by a buddy who's still on Twitter since I left Twitter myself, he actually said Nintendo announced that this is going to be their final partner showcase for the minis. Which, that means this is going to be a pretty big one then. By the looks of it, it's almost 19 minutes long. Now granted, the last partner showcase was pretty cool. I liked it. You know, one of them was okay, but this, the last one was really good for what they've shown us. And, I'm going to be honest, people love my reactions to the partner showcases because I'm 100% legit with people about it. And, from what it says in the hashtags, we're going to be getting information on Bravely Default 2 and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Which, for me personally, that's freaking awesome. I love it. Alright, well... <clears throat> I don't know what else we're going to be seeing besides those two, but hey, it'll be awesome no matter what they give us. So, since I want to know more info on Age of Calamity because it comes out next month on my birthday and Bravely Fall 2 because I want a release date for it, it's going to be great. Alright, let's get started. Alright. The COVID thing, completely understandable. All right. Woo! Welcome to our last Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase of the Year. Oh, this is here. Today, we'll continue delivering the latest information on games from our publishing and development partners. Oh boy. First. Here is an update on the latest installment in the Bravely series from Square Enix. Yes! Please take a look. Finally! Oh, that looks you great. You are finished, Hero of Light. I am a Hero of Light no longer. What the? The bravery of one must be the bravery of all. Don't worry. We'll do what you need us to do. Well, whatever's going on, there's no turning back now. All right. We've got a world to save. Ooh, yeah. You've got to love the sad ones. And I can't let that happen. He's all I have. Protect! 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 What have I done? It'll be time for you to wake up soon. Oh, this looks what great. What does that mean? The demo's fun too. You must find that out for yourself. I love the first one. And that can mean only one thing. Thou art one of us. A hero of light. Awesome. Release date? Four heroes guided by the crystals are united on the continent of Excellent, where an unforgettable adventure <laughs> brings Excellent. them face to face with a host of colorful characters. Your fairies, mm -hmm. aren't you? Princess, I take what I want, and no one can stop me. But you cannot stop the inevitable. Calamity stuff's just a lot of bull that some drunk I made up. Let's meet some of the <laughs> asterisk holders our heroes will encounter and learn a little more about each of their jobs. Doc, bearer of the Vanguard like asterisk. The Vanguard. Vanguards like Doc take advantage of their stout defenses in order to protect allies. They can also deliver devastating blows using their shields. Epic. Orpheus, bearer of the Bard asterisk. Can you Vin? even imagine it? Bards are talented musicians whose melodies can both help allies and hinder enemies. Many That's of their different. abilities affect multiple targets, making their presence on the battlefield crucial. 
Anyhow, bearer of the Beastmaster asterisk. Aww. Nana says I have to stop you. Beastmasters have the power to summon Aww. and control monstrous creatures. They can also use their skills to capture monsters to fight alongside them uh -huh. in battle. Surely, bearer of the gambler asterisk. It's just like Connie from Octopath. Gamblers tend to have luck on their side, but are also prone to pushing it, risking everything for a moment's glory. Be careful, however. The wheel won't always spin in their favor. These are just Whoa. some of the characters you'll meet in the early stages of the game. We'll be introducing more asterisk holders in the future, so please stay tuned. Epic. We asked fans to provide feedback on the demo released in March oh, 2020, did. and we received over 20,000 responses to our survey. Fans mentioned the difficulty level and the controls in particular, so we're now focused on making those adjustments. A video summarizing Epic. the changes that have been made based on the feedback will be posted soon on the official Nintendo YouTube channel. Awesome. And finally, Bravely Default 2 will launch on February 26th, 2021. Release date. Begin Release today date. On Release date. E finally. We hope looking forward to seeing lots more of Bravely Default 2. And Epic. so our four heroes begin oh my their adventure. Gosh. Epic. I'm getting that day one. Let's get into the headlines. Sorry, I'm doing this. Cultivate your farm and your life. <gasps> Harvest Moon! Oh. Long ago, your pioneering grandfather oh, and this his series is founded adorable. the charming community of Olive Town. You've always dreamed of living there. <laughs> and now, you've decided to take over your grandfather's farm. You leave your old life and the city behind to start afresh <laughs> in Olive Town. <laughs> Cool. Well, what awaits you there is a vast, overgrown, and untamed forest. <laughs> Cultivate your farm from the ground up in the latest Story of Seasons adventure. <laughs> oh, Story of Seasons. Shot I'm sorry. Trees that it looks like Harvest Moon. Your space for your field. Oh. Along the way, you'll discover all sorts of flora and fauna in the forest. Oh. You might even come across rundown facilities. Get fruit and vegetable seeds to grow on your farm, and tame wild livestock that can oh, be nurtured. Oh, the cows! Aww. My one cousin, she would love this you game. Your farm, she loves you'll cows. Do more and discover new places to mine, fish, and forage. Oh, this looks fun! Llamas. Will you sell fields as far as the eye can see? Or construct a massive ranch with lots of barns and coops? <laughs> Your farm's layout is completely up to you. Oh, neat! And if you're looking to socialize, why not get to know the locals? Nurture your relationships, and wedding bells might be in your future! Wait. Oh, seriously? Wow! Your farm life awaits in Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, cropping up on Nintendo Switch, March 23rd. I might pick that up. Survive. Another good relaxing game. Post-apocalyptic future. Post-apocalyptic future, huh? We inherited Paradox. a wasteland. No, not actual gameplay, but it's obviously. Uncharted of dead soil and barren What is this? What the heck is this? Uniting together was our only option. Hmm. Slowly, we started to pick up the pieces. We built a new home. Hmm. A safe haven in a hostile world. A place where we could start over on a clean slate. Where we would set the rules. And choose our own path. What is this? Surviving the aftermath. That's different. The fate of the Greek gods rests in your hands. 
Hmm? From Ubisoft comes a brand new open world game based on the world Immortal of Greek Phoenix mythology. Rising. As Phoenix, you'll explore a vast fantasy world filled Ooh. with gods and monsters alike. Run, swim, climb, ride horses, and soar across the sky. That looks amazing! Clash with titans using three weapons. A sword for quick hits. <laughs> oh. An axe for devastating blows. And a bow for long-range shots. Wait a minute, wasn't this shown in the partner showcase a while though? Weapons on the fly and chain powerful attacks I think I remember this. Combat. By solving challenging puzzles, you'll be gifted with new abilities from the I, gods. I adding think... variety and versatility to your know. arsenal. You can also upgrade armor and acquire new skills, giving you complete customization mm. freedom. With deadly battles against legendary creatures and brand encounters Epic. with mighty gods on the horizon, a new legend is waiting mm. to be told. Fulfill your destiny when Immortals Phoenix Rising launches on Nintendo Immortals Switch Phoenix December Rising. 3rd. Pre-orders begin today. Oh, wow. Only two months. Here's a sneak peek at some upcoming Nintendo Switch games. Oh. Fear strategy plus epic action equals Bakugan. It's up to you to build the best oh, the Bakugan team game that's shown. high energy battles. You can also compete online in head-to-head -head multiplayer. Become the ultimate champion in Bakugan Champions of Destroy. I mean, Coming it looks pretty cool. Nintendo Switch November 3rd. How are your negotiating skills? You'll need them in Griftlands Nintendo Switch Edition. I've never heard of this game. game. Or you can always let your fists do the talking. <laughs> Every decision matters in each playthrough, whether it's the jobs you take, the friends you make, or the cards you collect. Explore this gritty sci-fi world on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. This is interesting. El Presidente is back. The fate of your Tropica island is in your hands. Six. Build and rule your island nation. What? Large Tropica. Take care of your subjects' needs and send agents to steal world monuments. Tropico Six lands on Nintendo Switch November 6th. Okay. That's different. Looks neat though. The ruthless Agent 47 returns. Oh. Than ever. oh, is this Hitman? Is this another Hitman game? I've seen Hitman. I actually played the first one. Is this another Hitman game? Huh. Looks real, that's for sure. I mean, wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> His shovel. Hitman 3. Oh, cloud version. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Corruption is everywhere. Can you regain control? Hmm? They'll try to stop me. IGN Game of the Year. Oh, so it was the game that was already out. Them. Best video We're game. Stronger. Okay. What is this? I know what I must do. What the heck? Whoa. Okay. Control Ultimate Edition. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Oh. We're in this together. Okay. Huh. Wow, that looks intense. Get your beam katana ready. Oh, oh I, my hurts. I need a toilet. Perfect location. <laughs> Travis. Today's title is No More Heroes 3. The hero in the middle of the action is Travis Touchdown, the legendary assassin who has twice claimed the number one spot in the assassin rankings. Mm-hmm. 
In the new No More Heroes 3, what was once a fight between assassins is now a battle to the death on a galactic scale. Mm. Gamers have but one goal. Just destroy all those nasty aliens. Now. Cool. <laughs> Typical Travis. Prequels, it's awesome. But it's even more awesome if you play the prequels first. Wait, wait. To the wait, wait. Huh? Bring it on. I'll give you a little kiss. Wait. <gasps> what? You got wait, news? the first one? Does it have to be like now? For reals? Wait. No more heroes is getting ported to Nintendo Switch. Are, Hell yeah. Are you kidding me? No more heroes 2 desperate struggle is coming to the Switch too. Oh. You gotta be kidding me! That's freaking awesome! Wait, is that? <coughs> no more heroes one and two, and two in a single pack. And then third one's coming out next year. Direct mini partner showcase. But before we go. We have two more titles to talk about from our partners Ooh. at HAL Laboratory and Koei Tecmo Games. Form all sorts of odd jobs as a UFO. A UFO? I'm sorry, what? What? That's so cool though! What, what game is this? Part-time UFO? Aww. Your mission is simple. Oh, it looks cute! Use your trusty claw to grab, carry, and stack objects. Aww. Look at that little Division. guy. <laughs> building a castle, Aww. you can perform all sorts of part-time jobs. Oh, he looks like UFO Kirby! You can Kirby. By carrying objects and stacking them. But depending on certain factors, like how you stack them, you might be able to get a higher score. <laughs> What the heck am I watching? Additionally, by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, you can perform jobs together. Besides taking on part-time work, there are other modes you can enjoy, including exploring ruins filled with treasure, stacking objects as high as you can, and more. What the heck? This game looks adorable. Kirby! Help the people of this world as a UFO. I was just talking about Kirby! The UFO launches a Nintendo Switch today. <gasps> oh yeah! Hi, Pura. Rule one of the research is never give up. Above all else, your duty is of the utmost importance. Oh goody! <laughs> you have no idea how hyped I am for this game. That's epic. <gasps> Ava. The stupendous chief of the Yiga Clan, Master Koga. Wait. He's gonna kill you all. To death. <laughs> He's still a goofball. Who the heck is that? Who the heck? Hi, Ravali. I've said enough. The time has come to show you what I'm made of. Huh? <clears throat> Wait. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You could destroy them as the Divine Beast? You're joking, right? I... I'm dumbfounded. I am... This makes me want this game more now. You can control the Divine Beasts. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. A story of the great calamity that occurred 100 years before I am the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am this game launches soon. But if you're ready to protect Hyrule, the demo will be available today. 
In the demo, you can play all of Chapter 1 and carry over save data to the full game once purchased. Start defending the kingdom oh, with the demo thing. available today. Hyrule so Warriors Age of Calamity will launch on November 20th. On my birthday! That concludes our last oh, Nintendo Direct God. Mini Partner Showcase of the Year. Thank you for watching. I'm... My mind's blown. This is actually a really good showcase. Well. Well then. <clears throat> that was certainly a thing. Oh my gosh, where do I begin? Where do I freaking begin? Bravely Default 2, coming out February 26th of next year. Only in a few months. I was hoping for that. Finally. And so many other really good games. Story of Seasons, I thought was Harvest Moon at first. But hey, it looks fun though. It looks like another good relaxing game that's kind of like a, a mixture of Harvest Moon, Room Factory, and kind of um Animal Crossing-ish? With the customization, I mean. It looks like another good game for me to relax, which I love relaxing games like, like Animal Crossing, Minecraft, you know, stuff like that. So, I'm probably going to be picking that up. No more heroes 1 and 2 in a single pack ported to the Switch. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. If they make that a physical copy, I will get that later. And No More Heroes 2 says it's coming out next year. I mean, No More Heroes 3. Sorry. No More Heroes 3 releases next year. And it looks awesome. <sighs> it's just a shame that Travis got downgraded to a mere me fighter instead of being playable. In Smash Bros, that would have been better in my opinion. But, what can you do, right? Anyway. The other games look amazing. That cute UFO game I said looked like UFO Kirby was actually um, picking up Kirby characters. No, and I, no sooner did I say that, that that popped up and I'm like, Wow. That's amazing. That was amazing. And Age of Calamity. Playing as the Divine Beasts. I never thought this day would come. I never thought we'd ever get to play as the Divine Beasts, but... Lo and behold, Age of Calamity, you could play as the Divine Beasts. All four of them. This game's going to be better than I thought it would be. I already knew it would be phenomenal because it's the freaking prequel to one of my favorite Switch games of all time, Breath of the Wild. So, of course, it's going to be good, but my mind is officially blown. My mind is like, Phew. well, <laughs> well, yep, like I said, I already clicked like on it. <laughs> okay, I give this video a like. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. This has been John the Gamer saying God bless you all. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video. Later, everybody.